I've just been asked a question about provisions and why is it that some companies might want to create provisions to reduce profits? Because it seems slightly counterintuitive to actually want profits to go down. But the reason for that is companies might be wanting to create a, a trend of profits, a trend of rising profits. You see, if profits are going to be year 110, year 210, year 310, it all looks a bit boring. And if we're going to predict what the future is going to be, investors might think the profit is also going to be 10. That's not very exciting. Whereas if in year, you're in year one and you make a provision, you can reduce your profits down to five. You make a provision of five to reduce the profits down to five. Next year, year two, it's 10. And then in year three, you release the provision. In year three, you realise that you don't need to incur that cost or expenditure. So you write the provision back. And in year three, you make profits 15. So therefore, if you use provisions as a creative accounting tool, if there was no regulation over the recognition of provisions, companies could manipulate their profits to be 5, 10, 15 and give the impression that something exciting is happening and falsely build up an expectation that year four's profits might be 20 and that would then feed into a higher share price. So the accounting standard creates regulation, making sure that there is a, a set of criteria that has to be met in order to recognise a provision, in order to prevent profit smoothing, in order to prevent creative accounting. Hope that helps.